D tier. Definitely. But you get what I'm saying. I get what you're saying. All right, so let's all get right into it. Uh, Smashville. The matchup everyone's most excited to see in Smash Switch, Cloud Bayonetta. <laughs> I think everybody's hoping neither of these guys are in the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I think Bale's pretty likely to be back. Yeah, definitely. Like, relatively likely. Cloud is more of a question mark. Pretty big question mark. Ryu is, I think, a question mark. If someone told me that Cloud was going to be a question mark. in Smash 5, like when it first was announced, I would call them an idiot. If you told me Cloud was going to be in any Smash game, that was like the, what everyone wanted in Smash 64. Because right. like, 1998 was about Ocarina of Time versus Final Fantasy VII. Which team are you on? Yeah. Which one's the greatest game ever made? <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not commentating with Pete because he would give me the coldest <laughs> look if I said Final Fantasy VII was potentially one of the greatest games ever made. Word. Shout outs to Pete, my roommate. Yeah, it was good, Pete. Oh, really? Roommate? Yeah. Oh, that's dope. <laughs> Didn't know that? I have no idea. It's been like a year plus. Anyway, there's a lot of game we haven't talked about. This has been a pretty back I mean, and forth affair. Everyone knows the deal. The footstool. That was pretty weird. I like that though. Yeah. I think he was looking for a stage spike instead, but footstool kind of did the same job. I think Cloud would have made it back with his limit intact no matter what. Wow. I like the up air because that, that would have caught Tyro coming down. Just a little bit misspaced. Oh, catching that spot dodge. Could be a punish? No. Okay, Ned's gonna find the ledge here. Oh wow. Tyroy doing a great job pressuring. Yeah, I like the way Tyroy's been boxing versus Cloud much better than like the days where Ned would just roll over him. Mm -hmm. You know? It really feels like he's able to cross up. That hit? Oh. That witch time hit? <laughs> yeah, what? Cloud, Cloud that was pretty all big. the way across Smashville platform. It's pretty big. <laughs> Cloud's fair is... It's, I, I think it's both. I think Cloud's fair is gigantic, and Witch Time's hitbox is gigantic. Yeah. It's a combination Some of Some crazy combo of both just made that happen, and it worked out for Tyre, but Nev can answer right back. What are you doing with those down smashes? Like, are you just hoping that he, like, holds down? Mm -hmm. And then he just uh, eats a free spike? What? Oh, but what we got? What is that? Yo! All right, cool guy. I <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I don't think I've seen that one before. I think I've seen Mistake do that before. That's okay. that's a real combo. Remember okay. what we said about you are never safe at any percent for Spain? <laughs> oh, <yeah. Just> <laughs> what percent was he at when I started? That's zero to death. Zero? Really? Wow. Oh, no, it was like six. Oh, yeah, basically It was zero. like a six to death. Yeah. But I, that would have worked if he was at zero. Yeah, he gets all the cool points. I mean, I'm assuming that's like a DI thing, right? Yeah. That, well, no, those are all single hits. So, yeah. like, it could be a DI thing, but you might be able to mix it up by DI yeah. each single hit differently. Yeah. There's, like, fair one, up air one, mm -hmm. that kind of up air one. There's only one up air. But it's, like, that kind of stuff. And that's some. That's still kind of unoptimized with Bayonetta, but, like, Mistake's really good at that. Tweak is mm -hmm. probably the best at getting combos with just Bayo's aerials rather than using the, the specials. Okay. But Cloud's aerials are also pretty good for comboing, pretty good for adding on meaty damage and just owning the stage. And we're seeing that right here in game two. Yeah, definitely. Cloud also gets some limit just for oh, wow. giggles here. Yeah, Ned not letting that last game uh, wait for his confidence or for anything. And I was going to get that first thought That confident itself and killed. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Sure. Cloud. You got this, Cloud. That move was nerfed. It's like watching our overlords battle it out. The meta. <laughs> you could change the winner's finals just to read the meta. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I was expecting something weird right there. Bale combos on the Smashville platform and get pretty funky. Okay, and this is going to be a quick combo right back. And that's that footstool stuff I was mm -hmm. alluded to in the last set that Ty or, sorry, Ned's been looking for a little bit more and more. Wow, good punish. That fair one gonna just buy a bunch of limit. Ooh, and just goes for the jab oh. one, two, three, and gets the untackable. Yeah. Nice setup from Tyroy. I like what I'm seeing from both of these men. Again, it's a it's a game of 
get the stock and then answer right back. That's the most exciting Smash Brothers, in my opinion. Yeah, I like the use of the Nair right there to, uh, to reset the edge guard opportunity. That's why Cloud's Nair is so good. Yeah, right? So good. Every single hitbox on that move does something that's incredibly useful. The very beginning hitboxes, the very ending hitboxes can gimp. Oh, one of the best moves in the game. I think it's one of the best solitary moves. Mm -hmm. Like, which time's probably above it? Solitary moves. I mean, in a Define vacuum. That. Okay. <laughs> solitary was maybe not the right word, but like, in a vacuum, Cloud Nair is one of the best moves in the game. Yeah, definitely. The fact that it's on such a fast character like Cloud makes it even better. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Tyro is slowly bringing it back, though. Uh, he's not that far from being kill percent. Especially with uh, the rage getting added in. Yeah, Tyro's pretty close here, but his shield's very low. You're seeing him retreat. Uh, does not oh, wow. get the platform. You, you, we mentioned that again as well. Mm -hmm. Like, getting that platform would have bought him his shield health back. And now he's just going to take his time for a sec. Ned not going to push the issue. So that platform is going to stay, like, sneak away from you at some point. And I'll deal with you then. But until then, the limit is gone. Mm, not getting the sweet spot of the back air there. Well, that probably wouldn't have killed anyway. Well, definitely wouldn't have killed. Ooh, so. the ledge trump actually going to work out in Ned's favor because he finds the jump get up at the same time. In the nair. I like the uh, the no air dodge. Oh, jump. no, the jump saved the whole way, and Tyroy is Tyroy, the one who's yeah. out of jumps. That was weird. <laughs> yeah, that was... That was just an odd situation. But talk about composure from Ned not burning that jump too early. Yeah. Yeah, we've been un underestimating this man's uh, recovering <laughs> all day. Yeah, he won that. It looks like he's thinking about switching anyway. Yeah, it is tied one apiece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking the zero suit was going to come out. I think he wants to try the zero suit at least in one game in every set. Mm hmm. Because this is an, this is a character that's pretty important to just have frosty or not not be too frosty like yeah, have it warm. No, I like the use of ZSS. Bringing the ZSS back, definitely still a strong character. Uh, and if you can have ZSS as a secondary, that's that's beautiful. Yeah, it works out really well versus those heavies. Yeah. We've seen we've actually seen Ned use it before against like Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. Like he he won two sets on Konga at. Not the most recent port priority, but the second one, Midwest Invasion. Mm -hmm. And he also, like, uses it in pools. Oh, oh scary <laughs> engagement at the top of the screen. I literally never know what's going to happen up there. Because uh, you could just turn around in an instant. One player aired out just too early, and the other one presses just that certain killer move. Exactly. Yeah, the Tyrone are playing pretty well. I'm trying to get this game three. Only 37% on him. Yeah, he's holding the stage real good right now. Yeah, I, I could see this matchup being pretty annoying for ZSS, right? Because ZSS likes it when a uh, character commits to something. And Bale, like, pretty much never has to <laughs> commit to anything. It's never, like, which time. Yeah, we talked about, like, the risk-reward to ZSS earlier, where she's high risk. Mm -hmm. Bale, like, has the same reward, but is lower risk. Yeah, definitely. So you can just play, like, a safer, neutral... Pretty much all the way around. Sometimes you have to commit to stuff. Yeah, and people uh, compare ZSS to Bale all the time. Still. So I can definitely see that. Well, I think that Bayo was actually originally modeled like off of Zero Suit's frames. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, they based Corrin off of, uh, off of Mart's frames? Like, Mart Lucina's? Like, the, the wire frame? Yeah. They originally had the frame, the wire frame of Zero Suit, and they just kind of modeled that differently. Like, made changes to it, of course. It's not just like a one to one. Yeah, definitely. but. Wow, that was a great grab. Catch him out of the air, and they get the stock off of that. Wow. Wow. Crazy follow ups. Masterful use of the town platform. Mm -hmm. uh, again, you are not safe at any point in time. I guess either of these characters. Tyra was pretty low at percent when that up air chain started, too. Like, like 75 or 80, I think. I'm gonna get the grab punish right there. Uh oh. Speaking of the high reward, okay, that's that's a, not as high reward as I thought it would be, but it was a, it was a chunky combo. Yeah, no punish on the witch time right there. They probably didn't expect it. Well, that down tilt reached. Oh man, yeah, they Tyroy, nerfed that move too. All right, Tyroy uh, has dropped a few punishes so far. He's definitely gonna need those. 
Oh. Could be also unpredictable DI for net. Again, like if you like you can start seeing someone's DI and then you change it for the next move. Mm -hmm. And that can make it really hard to find these follow-ups. But the percent is dead even right now between these two. Until that get-up oh. attack the dash grab worked out here for Ned. But he's also gonna miss the double jump, so maybe just some sloppiness going both ways. Uh, that, gonna be oh. that was not the right input. Yeah, I'm just thinking back here, right? smash. I think he wanted a dash forward. Or something, because usually you see down smash to forward smash being the way you mm -hmm. really so you easily set up a stock when you're at got someone in the corner. Mm -hmm. But 125 percent. It's hard to even feel good about this, right? Because Bale is so scary. But he's gonna get the punish right there on the grab. Yeah, Bale flinched. Thought you had zero suit in the shield. Yeah, it's like he was trying to go for like a call out grab or something like that. Because he was just standing in in, uh, in place. But Ned's gonna punish that and get the game three, two, one. And now he might switch back, or he could stay. Actually, wouldn't wouldn't fault him for either. Yeah. In this situation. Definitely was a solid game. I wouldn't be surprised to see him stay. In the background, we have Big Mac versus Snoofle. I believe that is bracket. I saw Snoofle win one. I saw Big Mac win one. I don't know if it is one to one or if anyone has additional wins. Mm -hmm. But that will probably come up next because that will feed, I'm imagining, into Loser's semifinals, which will be oh, our next wow. match after this. Looks like it's the first time we'll go to uh, Tripod so far this set for Battlefield. Tyro off to a great start, already 59% on mid. This is last game, the story of last game too. Oh wow. Yeah, and DSS doesn't really get a lot of uh, low percent up airs, right? Especially compared to uh, Bayo. You, you can get some stuff going. Yeah. Like, there, there's that rage mid percent flip kick kind of threatening mm -hmm. thing, but mm -hmm. this is Bayo. Bayo's pretty good at living through that when you think she won't. So you also take away that tool a little uh -oh. bit. But, oh, here comes the chain. Yeah, and looking for the flip kick. Mm -hmm. Trying to get the air dodge read right there. The cheesy kill. Boxing oh, back. Wow. Landing with the up air, but not going to be able to convert more off of it. Oh, then the witch time and up smash punish. Good stuff from the Tyroid. Tyroid's been really, uh, really consistent with these witch times. That's the first one we've... S oh, no. We, s we saw one in one of the cloud matches. I don't know if it was the yeah. one he won or the one he lost. Oh, trying to take away the grapple opportunity there from Ned. Ned, very smart. Not going to go for the grapple recovery where he could have been knocked away. But just throws out the hitbox there with the boost kick. Mm -hmm. That was sus DI, I think. He went... Or maybe it was off the stage because he went really far from that back air. Yeah, he did. Below 100%. Looks like Ned's having a little bit of trouble closing out the stock. I'm 2%. I guess this can be an annoying percent for ZSS. But then to go for the back air there. And considering pressure, not gonna find anything. Oh wow. The Tomahawk's even showing here on the zero suit. Tomahawk and a cross up. Good stuff. You got the stock right there with oh, the back air? Or is that a. Yeah, it was a back air. Yeah. You just punish the witch time pretty extraordinarily. But here comes a big answer right back from Tyroy. Look at him go, but two up tilts is gonna get Bayonetta off, yeah. Yeah. The, the conditioning right there from Tyroy kinda made Ned think twice about going for the up air right there. Uh, when Tyro was in the air. Okay. We can tech chase. Uh-oh. Nah. <laughs> it's Bayo. <laughs> like, I thought about free and I was like, oh my... But then, nah. Exactly. I didn't even send him that low. Yeah, it didn't. That was kind of weird. I mean, I guess the percent wasn't very high, but... I don't know. Oh, but Battlefield actually going to keep Ned alive in this instance. I think any other stage, that up tilt up air would have KO'd. Yeah. I think Tyra's corner pressure is being a little predictable, but okay, he's going to cross up here the with air. the afterburner kick. Ned was getting a little trigger happy. Like literally, with the down smash. Which is, I was going to say that 
Tyro is being predictable in the corner, like threatening those back airs. Mm -hmm. And Ned just knew to be patient, but then he tried to get center stage and then maybe make too much of a play mm -hmm. with the down smash. And that's what kind of cost him. Yeah. So here we go, game Cinco between these two. Yeah. Not an unusual affair. Yeah, didn't expect to go any other way. And Ned's gonna uh, buzz back out the cloud for game five. Not surprising either. The CSS was able to scrap out a win, but it's gonna be the cloud here that he rests his grand finals hopes on. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. oh, that knocked Ned in a really strange direction, but okay. It also knocked Tyroy away from below the stage. Which is gonna uh -oh. buy Ned some time here, but he's caught by yeah. this jab, and this is gonna at least burn the limit. Oh, oh but the tax pump is in the perfect spot. Oh, I thought we were gonna grab there. I thought someone was gonna do something a little bit higher reward, but yeah. instead everyone plays a little bit low committal on that side platform. Yeah, Nails at the floor there just puts him in a perfect position for her to do some type of follow up. And yeah, fair one to up tilt too. Yeah. I can't believe that worked. Yeah, good stuff from Ned. Recovering high. Doesn't want to worry about that back air. And then there at the ledge. This is at least a limit burn, which is going to buy you a lot of time. And this is a 100% lead for Tyra. You blinked and you missed it, though. Yeah. That just can't get anything going so far. Yeah, just look at it. <laughs> look at a straight hit and not get anything off of it. But he needs this ledge pressure to lead to something. And instead, okay, Tyra was looking to turn him around with a down tilt up air or a back air. And yeah, look at these kind of... That panic cross slash is a weird there's a weird button to press, I think, in the corner. And they're looking for forward one to air forward air one for Bayonetta to air dodge read is a thing. And that was the situation that Tyra was trying to set up, but mm -hmm. instead he's gonna get the down tilt up air. That worked all the way to like 165 in this yeah. case in this <laughs> case. And uh Tyro taking the first block in this uh winners finals, game five. Trying to move on to Grands. Tyra has taken most of the first stocks tonight. Yeah. Ned has had the comeback factor to at least even it up on the second one. Let's see if it's the same case here. Oh, with that. Right there. Oh, yeah, excellent DI on that heel slide. And, oh, wow. Ooh, looking for another one. <laughs> I don't know if he got that as soon as he got hit or right before, but that was clutch. The limit. Saving wow, Ned privilege, right there. man. Yeah. That's why people, were when they're asking for a cloud nerf, they're saying don't give cloud limit on hits. Yeah, that's, that's definitely fair. Wow. Scooped that him. That hit him under the platform. <laughs> but this is a big lead. Ned built up here. And he's got the limit back. He's going to try to move and groove with this movement. Yeah, 83% to 11. Ned's definitely going to try to play it slow right here and try to chip in some percent until he gets comfortable. And Ned's not pushing the issue at all. You see him actually retreating. Yeah, exactly. Giving up center stage a little bit, hoping to catch... Tyroy's dash in, like we saw him do with the, that golf swing. I think against Big Mac. Oh, almost getting hit by that uh, wish time. That would have been it. That would have been game. Yeah, I think. Tyroy would have been in grands. Yeah. Next wish time is grand finals. Yeah, Tyroy. That was slick. Yeah, doing a great job of stuffing out the, uh, the aerial approach from Ned. Wow, he'd be hopping to grab. On these nares, buying so much real estate here for Tyroy. Look at him. But that down tilt gonna do the same for Ned and really even this back up. Ned needs this limit. Yeah, you, you gotta get you gotta start charging that button, maybe even give up this ledge trap scenario. But this down tilt. Uh oh. Not gonna kill though. Yes! DI. Great DI. And Ned almost has limit, so this could this could definitely go one of two ways in a second. Yeah, limit at the ledge. Uh oh. Wow, I'm surprised you didn't go for the, the jab. No, see, you do the jab one, two, three mix up. Yeah, you go for the, uh, the back air instead, right? And that's gonna take it, yeah. Perfect positioning from Tyroy around that down air. At yeah. just the right time is gonna buy that game. And Tyroy moving on to grand finals with a 3 2 victory over Ned. Yeah, good stuff from Tyroy right there. Both players playing really well, but, you know, it came down to who was playing better at the end, game five. Or whichever the momentum chose to. <laughs> Lead itself to, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess that was definitely a set of adaptations. Yeah. Like, Tyra, like we said, we were, he was putting Ned in the corner and then Ned was being patient. And then Ned tried to be aggressive in that one mm -hmm. final scenario with the down air. Yeah. And that was enough. Looks like.